Well, hello, folks. This is Garth at GW Leathercraft. And in my last video, I uh, said that I would be making a video on um, widening out a pattern for a holster if you wanted to change it from a, one uh, gun to another. And so this is that video. So here are the two finished patterns. This on the on the right is for a clone or a 1873, you know, a, um, New Vaquero or a Cattleman, those sort of things. And this on the right is for a Blackhawk. The Blackhawk needs more room. It's it's a bigger gun. For uh, reference purposes, um, yeah. So there are the two mold guns. Um, so basically, that's what we're going to work towards. Uh, for now, I'm going to uh, put them away, and we'll start right off. So the first thing is I take where I'm, I'm going to assume that we already have the holster for the 1873. And the one problem with this for any anybody who's not prepared is that you have to have the gun in question. Um, you can't do it mail order it in sort of thing. Um, I'm looking for my pen. The um, because you have to you have to have a some way of measuring both of them. So, but anyway, for we'll assume that you do, and so we'll start right off now. The um, Like I did in the last one for the length, it's really helpful to have a holster of the to fit the 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 gun, you know. And there you go; you can see it fits. And so this is this holster was made from this pattern. So the first thing I do is I um, trace out the pattern. Actually, we just use the the one half of the pattern make sure we mark that center line now I'm gonna extend that just so we have that for reference in case we need it Another thing you have to watch out for the um, the Blackhawk has a shorter barrel. It's not. It's only an eighth of an inch shorter, and the frame is bigger, so it probably isn't going to make a difference in this case. But that could be. It could stand to be shorter. So the the um, you know with the note the holster also shorten or lengthen depending on what the gun is. Um, so anyway, we have that. I did the right one, did I? Yeah, that's the one for the clone. So we take a look at the holster, and we see that you want the the center of the trigger guard in the center of the gullet here. So. It looks to me to be about three eighths of an inch, right? That we need to um, add, um, and that keep in mind that's on both halves. So we're doing half, so we want to add three eighths of an inch. Um, so up to the top here, we can just mark a another line, 
now it's just by eye so I'm, I'm not worried too much about getting it right on 3 8 uh, but another center line now what that allows us to do is then we can take this set it up the same height So that gives us the that, and I didn't draw it all the way down because down here we've got to uh, um, we've got to join it up with this because we don't want the bottom of the holster to be any bigger than it is. If you had a great big uh, um, sight on it or something or if it was like incredible you know a, a whole lot more than the other one it is some more but not not enough to really worry about um, if it grew a little it wouldn't hurt anything but you still want the the shape of the holster that's what you're trying to to keep so if we come over here we can add like an eighth of an inch to our bottom part that isn't really going to make it look any different and it will give us a little bit more for for the bigger site and we just extend this line um, sort of blend would be the word um, something like that and then That where I, I made that an eighth of an inch wider I'm just gonna set the uh, pattern on that line and kind of get an idea and blend it into the other one just like that okay so that gives us the the uh, um, it three eighth of an inch wider at the frame or at the trigger guard whatever and a little bit wider for the barrel because the um, it's not a lot but it could stand a little more room and the only other thing is the length now I have to turn this so I can see it a good way to do is to set that so you're looking this way and so you can see that the uh, the the gullet and the trigger guard are lined up vertically okay and then I can turn it here you want to do the same I'm trying to keep my head out of the way but it's a little bit difficult but what you want is you want the barrel to be parallel with your lines so that you know it's pretty much straight and you want the the gullet to be vertically in line with the trigger guard and then get an idea of how long the the how much more holster there is beyond the barrel now I would say it's less than half an inch and I wouldn't worry about it but if you were wanting to shorten it now would be the time and, and uh, the previous video showed you how to do that and that is is not a big deal um, the I believe the reason why it looked as long extra long as it did in the other with, with it in the the holster was because it's not yeah you see it's not going down all the way So that is how you widen it out and, and get it. I might as well. I, I think I will shorten it. I don't need to, but I think I will. Maybe not a lot. Maybe just a little. Half an inch 
It's more than we need. So that shortens it up about a quarter of an inch. And that should be what we want. So then we cut it out. Now I didn't mention it of course, but you had to have to kind of extend the line here to uh, Um, to your original center line. that Now there is something that I didn't mention before, um, just to allow room for the, where is it, this, um, when the gun is a little bit thicker and has a, of course has a bigger sight on it because it's a Black Hawk, um, allowing a little more in here is a good idea. So I'm just going to blend this and, and add the three eighths of an inch on both sides of the, it already is on the, the holster part, but I'm going to make this cutaway here deeper to allow more room for the, the sight. So basically the, the standing part of the leather is still the same width, it's just moved over three eighths of an inch. You know what I mean? So right there. So that is three eighths of an inch off of this center line, and that's just well, of course this is because of the holster, the rest of the holster. But this could have been there, but I moved it to allow more room, and that's important. You want enough room for the gun to go in.
So now, like the other one, I'm going to trim off a bunch of this excess, but you have to make it quite wide because you really don't know where your um, where it's going to go from there. Now, that goes like this. This folds here. You've seen me do this before, but um, basically the first thing I do is establish um, where the strap is going. And that is kind of just by eye. I usually put it somewhere around this this spot, but sometimes you want it a little lower, sometimes you want it a little higher. And um, depending on the, mostly to have to do with the width and the length of the holster. So I'm going to go right there. Now I don't know if you noticed, I square it up with the with this fold line, um, and that makes the that uh, so that the the um, uh, strap sits square to the fold. Um, so then I find a center point, which. say is right there that's the center so then we come off of this half an inch and off of this half an inch if you wanted to be fussy you could square that up again and then do the same thing here. Um, not really that big a deal, but I just mark those two lines. Other, all the lines are an inch apart. Um, then I just transfer my corner points through the whole thing. <clears throat> Actually, I want that folded over when I do that. So we fold that over, hold it in place, transfer the line or the corner points. Okay, so that's the four corner points. And I just connect the dots this way. This is getting a cross strap, so you want to um, put in your slots. I just do it like that. Um, I've started doing the, I used to widthen the strap so it all, all to, you know, the whole width of the strap. Now I've taken to doing it this way. Um, basically, this is getting a snap, so you have to allow for the snap. It has to be wider. So, that is that. Um... I make a line, and it doesn't have to be anything in particular, but about uh, five eighths of an inch below my lowest point of my. Uh, and, and you know, you could uh, make that perpendicular or parallel with this this fold line here. It's not, you know, it really doesn't matter, but you could. And that's what, that would be what would be perfect. Then, then you, uh, basically, you extend these lines down here. Now, like I did in the last one, I make them so that there's room for my stitching and everything in here. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, you, this is a, 
a pattern made off of um, the um, uh, pictures of the original, supposedly, of the rig that rig and holster that John Wayne wore in different movies and and that particular holster it was not made quite like this but it was it was very simple in the back it didn't have a full skirt so that is what we're trying to to simulate here so then you just cut it off since this is not a full skirt it's just enough to catch that strap is really all you need and depending on what you're doing. If you're making a lined holster, you'll have to add a few things. And you could stop pretty well right here and it would work fine. And with a short barreled holster or a, a gun with for, a, you know, a short barreled, uh, a holster for a short barreled gun, um, sometimes the block that I add, it, it's not practical. when they're long there's lots of room um, then yeah but when they're short there isn't so you um, kind of have to make a judgment call on that um, the idea is when it's when the, the gun isn't too long the holster isn't too long there's not the diff, there's not much distance between the strap and the bottom of your belt anyway so it can't possibly lift very much and that's what the block is there for to keep it from lifting um, there's any number of things you could do um, the strap is going to hold it together and if you were looking for um, as close to original but keeping this design that would be it without the block um, for my belts uh, are three inch, I have to allow four inches to uh, the rivets and uh, the um, T knot and all that. So you see right there, we've got a problem. It's a vertical dist or a, a perpendicular distance to this fold line here. So we're looking at the the center of the of the block would be right there so it's going to be interfere with your strap so we won't be able to put a block on this holster now the only other thing we could do would be um, a hammer thong and uh, I don't really know whether off the top of my head I don't remember seeing I don't know if the original holster had one um, and if it's lined, you can add one and it won't really interfere in any way. If it's not lined, then you might have a problem because then doing it this way, it would stick into the, into the, um, interior of the holster. And while it's just a piece of lace, it, it isn't really going to rub on the gun or anything. It does maybe look bad or whatever. But I'm going to put these in, and I may... Oh, that was crooked. I may use them. I might not. And you could always attach a hammer thong to this here, and it would be hidden then. Um, and, and that would be okay. So the only thing left is to label it and um, this is uh, what I call this holster is my Duke holster and um, it this one is uh, straight which refers to the cant and it's for a four and five eighths Blackhawk. So there is how you with the note the holster and or the pattern going from one holster to another. And 
since I have the mold guns and I have the, uh, I just happen to have this holster that I made, um, then, uh, you know, that, and, and this video would only help you if you had that, those items, you knew how much wider the, the gun was. Now, so anyway, hopefully that will help somebody and, um, maybe get you out of a jam. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.